I have watched a lot, a lot of queer storylines in my time. My channel is a sort of a huge master list of what I love, what I don't love, you know. But today I want to talk about some of the couples that made me realize I was gay. Well, I should say it helped me accept my sexuality, helped me out of the closet a little bit. Uh, these couples had a huge impact of me growing up. I can't even rank these. Uh, so we're getting right into Spencer and Ashley from South of Nowhere. If I die, I want to die to see you. Now, I feel like I found these girls sort of later in the seasons, like uh, when the later season was airing, I believe. I tell you what, this was like, <sighs> I don't even know if it like officially aired in Australia. So it was like undercover, hardcore, trying to like, find these episodes to watch in secret. So it was one, trying to find these episodes and two, watch it without anyone knowing I was watching it. <laughs> On the family computer, mind you. <laughs> I absolutely loved these two. Like these two were so good. And I swear to God, like uh, they were just, I mean, obviously needed it in its time. I needed it in its time, but it would thrive in today's day and age, you know, like, Actually, I don't know. Netflix would probably kill it after one season. We probably got more seasons back then. <laughs> but these two were so good. Like the, the two actresses, like there was such a fandom around them that there was like web series made after the, the series ended and then movies and then like all these deleted scenes. Like there was a girl trash movie. What was it? Girl trash something. It was like a musical. I loved it. Honestly, it was great. <laughs> I think before they made that movie, they also made like a girl trash web series that never went to air, but they like released the like unedited footage of it, of like just them making out because the fandom wanted it so bad. I love these two. Everyone loved these two. They were just perfect. Next couple is Tara and Willow from Buffy. I don't even know if I watched the first three seasons of Buffy, to be honest. Like. <laughs> When I found out that there was like a queer couple in Buffy. We're lovers. Lesbian, gay type lovers. I started from season four. I started from that episode, you know, from Hush. <laughs> now, Tara, I love Tara and Willow. Obviously, fucking devastating ending. Like, just, there are so many emotions attached to Tara and Willow. I, I just kind of like having something that's just, you know... Mine. I am, you know. What? Yours. I was so new to sort of fandom. I was so new to ships. I was so new to queer, right? That I didn't even like watching Buffy. I didn't get into the Buffy and Faith ship back then. You know, going back now. Oh, hell yeah. I'm on that, right? But I will say Tara and Willow had the impact of me when I was growing up, coming to terms with my sex sexuality, getting comfortable with myself, right? They they had a huge impact for me. I was so devastated season six. Like season six is one of my favorite and also my least favorite seasons. Like it had the musical, oh God, I love, <sighs> I'm just, I, I don't even know if I continue talking about Tara and Willow. There's just so many emotions there, but yeah love them next up vivian and asta from anyone but me this is a web series i was afraid you'd run screaming from the room as soon as i kissed you but you didn't kiss me i kissed you i know and it was amazing oh <sighs> i loved these two and nicole Payson is that her name like she has like since the web series come out she does like all the like expos and stuff like that like lexicon and ah oh, she's great but I really loved this web series. I think this was like one of the first web series, if not the first web series that I think I ever saw. And I was like, whoa, this is like a TV show exclusively for YouTube. Like it blew my mind and I was obsessed. I'm obsessed. <laughs> like looking back now, I've been like going through finding footage for this, like and rewatching stuff. I'm like, wow. Like I am forever grateful for all of these couples, but there was definitely like, I was like really scraping at some points, right? <laughs> Speaking of the next movie, well, the next couple came from the movie Kissing Jessica Stein is Jessica and Helena. Helen? Helena. I don't even, Helen. We're gonna go with Helen. You know how you'll react to everything? Pretty much, yes. I tell you, 
you what, like, I feel like I haven't rewatched it in a while, but I did rewatch it after the fact, like, you know, a little while later. And I was like, wow, this movie is bad. This is so bad. The ending is bad. <laughs> but this movie did something to me when I was like, coming to terms with my sexuality, sexuality, I swear to God. Like that scene where they're in the restaurant, I just can't even, I, it triggered something in me. <laughs> It's such a weird movie because they don't have chemistry, but they also do. <laughs> yeah, no, like I refuse to watch the ending of this movie, but also like, I don't know, this, it's, this is such a weird movie, but I appreciate it because, you know, it did a lot for me coming to terms with my sexuality. <laughs> Obviously, I got to talk about Imagine Me and You. We got Rachel and Luce. Like, I still love these two. I still watch Imagine Me and You on a regular basis. Like, I don't typically watch TV shows or movies, like, again. I watch it once and then that's it. But Imagine Me and You, I watch it at least annually. You know, I... It is just good. I like it, okay? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this movie. <laughs> like, Rachel and Luce just have so much chemistry and, like, it's just... Oh, it's the perfect build up like they're like oh, they they're getting drawn to each other you can just feel it you know it's just ah, it's so good it is so good speaking of chemistry <laughs> we're getting into some soap operas because like soap operas played a big part for me i still am a huge fan of soap operas and i feel like because well, you know they were there for me when i was younger <laughs> We're jumping into Coronation Street with Sophie and Cheyenne. I love you. I love you now. <laughs> but I really don't want you to catch us. <laughs> so I'm going to go in the room, okay? Yeah, it's Cheyenne, right? Yeah, we're going to go with that. It, the name always trip mis trips me out because, like, when I see it spelt out, it doesn't look like how you pronounce it. Anyway, moving on. These two had chemistry oh my god i died when i found their scenes on youtube because i don't watch soap operas okay i watch soap operas on youtube i watch scenes on youtube you know <laughs> and so when i found their scenes on youtube i died i was obsessed like i can't even tell you the amount of times that i've rewatched their scenes i'm just gonna go like like I said, getting the footage for this clip, for this video, I should say, I've it's made me want to rewatch their scenes again, and I'm 100% gonna do it. I still can't. I mean, obviously, it's it's a soap opera. They go forever, and so like, <laughs> there's like one couple in the series that usually lasts until they die. But typically, actors leave, and then they need to stop the relationship, and that happened with this one, which broke my heart broke my heart that they didn't they're not still together and didn't end up together you know but i mean i feel like in the context of a soap opera they were end game <laughs> within their time span you know like i feel like you could just break up soap operas into phases and they were end game in their phase <laughs> i tell you what the real kicker for me the real like eye-opening couple was Sky and Lana from Neighbours. Let me guess, this is some Sunnydale moment. You're actually a teenage vampire, right? So Neighbours is an Australian soap opera, recently got canceled um, and stopped. But I'll tell you what, Sky and Lana had this hugely controversial storyline back in 2004. Unbelievably controversial here in Australia. I was young, I was young. How old was I? I was 11. <laughs> And I remember seeing this scene of them kissing on TV because like family would watch it. Like it would sort of be on when dinner was happening, right? I remember watching their, their scene on TV and it blew my mind that girls could kiss. I had never even sort of thought of that before, you know? And I saw it and I was like so fascinated by it. I repress that because it wasn't it wasn't highly received from like my cousins. They weren't too impressed that I was asking questions about <laughs> girls kissing. And so I repressed those sorts of feelings for quite a few years later, right? It wasn't until late high school that I actually decided to open that box again. <laughs> But yeah, Sky and Lana, they they will hold a hold a special place in my heart because they did 
They opened my eyes the first time. And then 16 years later in 2020, they got married on Neighbours, which was exciting. You know, like it's, it was literal scraps, this couple. Like the actual, their, their storyline back in 2004 was like, like scraps. It was literally their kiss and then like they shut it down. <laughs> But at least, like, they came back 16 years later. They gave us a wedding on TV. And you know what? Like, even though it was literal scraps, I appreciate it. So that's seven couples that made me realize I was gay. <laughs> I want to know some of the couples in the comments below that uh, opened your eyes to the world of queer. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.